Hey, what's up everyone? Thanks again for joining us on this practice problem. Let's just go ahead and jump right into it. In this case, we have a cell phone plan that charges $25 per month and an additional 50 cents per gigabyte of data used. And we want to use this information to write a function that models this plan and we also have to state what each variable represents. Okay, so before we do anything, let's really think about what's going on here. We need to model this scenario mathematically by creating a function with the information that we're given. So with this particular cell phone plan, we have to pay $25 a month just to have the phone. And on top of that $25 a month, we have to add an extra 50 cents per every gigabyte of data that we use. So we're paying that $25 no matter what, and whatever extra money on top of that depends on how many gigabytes of data that we use. So this is a good start to structure a function here. So let's imagine a month where we use zero gigabytes of data. We wouldn't have to pay any extra fee since 50 cents times zero is just zero, and we're left with the original $25 fee. Let's just say that we use one gig of data in a month. In this case, 50 cents times one is just 50 cents, and then $25 plus 50 cents would be a $25.50 monthly bill. And this relationship will apply for no matter what value we input, whether it's two gigs of data, five gigs of data, or some unknown amount. And we're gonna call that unknown amount of gigs x. So now we have an algebraic function that models this scenario, and we can easily replace x with the number of gigs used and find out what the monthly total bill would be. And finally, we can replace f of x equals with y equals, since they both mean the same thing. And remember that we needed to state what each variable represented. So now we can say that y is going to represent the monthly price of the cell phone plan, and x is going to represent the number of gigabytes of data used that month. So this is a really good example of thinking your way through a modeling question like this, where you have to model a scenario by creating a function of your own. So keep these ideas in mind as you continue to practice and get better at algebra, and we'll see you guys next time. Hi everyone, Anthony here one last time. Hope you found that lesson to be helpful. And if you want to help us out, please like the video and subscribe to our channel. We're committed to adding new video lessons every week, and now would be the time to subscribe. So I really hope that you would consider it. And also, don't miss your chance to download your free practice worksheet that's included with this video lesson. Just click the link in the description below and you can get your download. Hope to see you all soon. Bye!